Hi everyone and welcome to another Odoo functional tutorial brought to you by Tech Ultra Solutions. In today's functional video, we'll walk you through the full customer invoice to payment workflow. From creating an invoice, registering a payment, to reviewing the accounting impact through journal entries. So let's dive into the video. Now let's start by creating and posting a customer invoice. So for that, we'll just navigate to our accounting module here. And here in the customers menu we have the option for invoices so click on that so let's begin by creating a new customer invoice so click on new to create a new one here you have to add the customer select an existing customer so I'm just adding mark demo as my customer here here you have to fill in the invoice date so I'm adding today's date here then you have the option for payment terms here you have a different uh, list of payment terms so i'm just uh, keeping it immediate payment here now we just have to add the invoice line so i'm just adding my product here so let's suppose i'm taking my product as custom wooden table here having the quantity as five and the price of say five thousand here now once the details are complete click this confirm to validate the invoice now this action changes the state of invoice from draft to posted as you can see here now in part 2 let's register the customer payment now this could be a partial or full payment depending on the situation so just click on this pay and uh, here you can see the bazaar having different details so here we have our journal here we have our payment method and here is the amount uh, this is the auto filled with the due amount now this can be edited and here we have our payment date and the invoice for it so we can just click on this create payment now this payment is now posted and automatically reconciled with the invoice so the invoice date updates to paid now let's see the accounting impact and the journal entry so click on this journal items tab on the invoice so here we can review the accounting entries created behind the scenes so here you can find our uh, counting entries with our accounts uh, local sales and debtors here you can find the uh, GST is applicable to it so the debit amount is the accounts receivable and then we have our credit amount and the output tax so together these entries reflect the accurate receivables revenues taxes and cash position in your accounting reports here we have an another features uh, named as cutoff now in auto accounting cutoff feature is used for accrual and deferral adjustments at period closing for example you sell a service in december but deliver it in january now you want to recognize the revenue in january the delivery period not in december which is the invoice period so let's just click on this cutoff and your Odoo's cutoff wizard allows you to select the invoices, bills or the journal items marked with cutoff. So here you can uh, see our journal item which was marked with cutoff. So you can just see here. Here you can add the recognition date. So I'm just adding 17th and here you can uh, adjust the amount which shows the total amount impacted by the automatic entry so your let's say i'm just uh, adding 40 percent so it will automatically calculate according to the account and here you can select the accrued account so let me add the accrued revenue and here in the journal we can just add so i have already created one journal for the cutoff so i'm just adding that and then you can just create these journal entries so here you can see the generated entries for our invoice this is the cutoff entry which is posted and for the date which is the recognition date we have added for 17th uh, this entry is in draft state now so in this way it automatically generates the deferral and the accrual entries that shift the expense or revenue counting period now let's see the reconciliation and reporting so moving back here navigate to the reporting section and then we have our general ledger so here you can view the full transaction trail in the customer ledger or the general ledger reports which is all related to the uh, accounts which is receivables tax and bank so here you can find the journal items for the accrued revenue our local sales for our gst or cgst payable and so everything you can just uh, find it over here according to our invoice 
which will reflect the transaction lifecycle. And that completes the customer invoice to payment workflow in Odoo from creating invoices to registering payments and reviewing the financial impacts. Odoo provide complete automation and traceability. Subscribe to our channel for more Odoo accounting tutorials. See you in the next video. Bye for now.